Graffiti has become a big problem over at Red Rock. One group that cleans it up, Friends of Red Rock Canyon, is offering up to a $3,000 reward for any conviction here. 8 News Now reporter Hector Mejia went out to Red Rock today and has this story for us. The picturesque sandstone views of Red Rock Canyon. But ask Chuck Williams about it, and he'll say it's actually turning ugly with graffiti. Some of the places that they get hit are, um, are popular places like uh, Lost Creek. Since 1999, he's been cleaning it up as a volunteer with the group Friends of Red Rock Canyon. 20 years later, the problem still exists and getting way out of control. Would you do that in your own house? Would you, you know, write on your walls? And, uh, you know, it's not attractive. Some of this graffiti is outright offensive, like foul language and even a swastika. About a year ago, someone painted a swastika on a restroom wall along State Road 160. Williams showed us the pictures. We went out right away and just did a quick paint job over the swastika and then went back about a week later and painted the uh, whole side to make it look better. Visitors are helping by reporting graffiti sightings. Almost 40 reports were filed in 2018. It's the beautiful, breathtaking views visitors come to Red Rock to see. Not this, what some would consider an eyesore. Volunteers spent over 350 hours last year alone cleaning up some of this graffiti across the park. Some visitors think this vandalism is a shame. If you guys want to paint, you guys should just buy some canvases and express your art on that. Very, very rare places in the world, and I think this is probably one of the most rare. Friends of Red Rock Canyon is offering an anti-graffiti reward, up to $3,000 for info leading to the arrest and conviction of anyone defacing Red Rock. It's not easy to clean up. Sometimes volunteers have to climb and hike several miles with heavy equipment. Backcountry horsemen that have used their mules to uh, haul water back for us. The uh, Las Vegas Search and Rescue, uh, they've uh, carried water with their helicopter. Until offenders are caught, volunteers like Williams will just keep polishing the park for the rest of us to enjoy. Hector Mejia reporting 8 News Now.